It's me! I'm gonna suck it. Haven't you learned yet not to sass me back? Sonny boy, you're lucky I'm in a good mood. Because you know what put me there? Making your father suffer. That gives me a warm feeling inside. <laughs> My joy from me, and then you killed my Camille. Their blood's on your hands till the day you die. I was going to take a daughter for a daughter, but fate stepped in, gave me a son instead. Junior's still alive, and I'm going to keep him that way for a while, so you can go nuts wondering what I'm going to do to him. And then once he served his purpose, he'll die too. I must be going mad. Hawkins must have been here the whole time. Yeah, there's a lot of junk food here. Chocolate trappers and some more chocolate trappers. Look at this shark's teeth. This is a damn shrine. Lee Hawkins has always been a terrible, evil man. Edmund, are there any good rooms in this place? Any place a little boy could hide? I'm afraid not, Dixon. Where is my little brother? We don't know for sure Lee's got Junior. What planet are you on? Who else wants to decimate my family? Lizzie, I just got your message. Dad, I think Lee Hawkins took Junior. What happened? Junior's gone. He's vanished completely. Yeah, this morning, Dixie saw Lee Hawkins talking to Junior at the door. How did Lee Hawkins get past the gate? Because Lee Hawkins is John Lee. He took my son. We don't know that for sure, do we? No, Dixie's right. This is from Lee Hawkins. Yes, Junior. Oh. Oh. This is all your fault. Dixie. Lee please. Hawkins wanted you dead. He wanted to hurt you. Stop this. He didn't this want to stop. hurt Junior. He wanted to get back at you for all the stupid, stupid, idiotic things that you've done. Stop I wanted to keep him at home. I could have protected him at home. Oh, yes. But you, you had to bring him here and do it all the chance. You're the one who let him run all over creation to pool parties and sleepovers. He was a little boy. You left him Adam. open to danger. You did. That's not my fault. What, was I supposed to leave him with you? Yes, my God. Leave him with me. Oh, what? You gonna pay attention to him? You ignore him? You don't even spend any time You with left him? him totally unsupervised. God, stop. We stop blaming each other. He's after Haley. Lee Hawkins wants Haley. It's exactly what Lee said in this letter, a daughter for a daughter. How did you know that? When I was in a coma, I, I saw some things. What things? The future. I. I saw things happening like I was there. I saw Haley at the carnival, and she, she was dead. Carnival? They, they, they've struck tents. I mean, they, they've moved on. Exactly. The future's not set in stone. So while the carnival was in town, I took Haley to Mexico. He couldn't get Haley, so he took Junior instead. A daughter for a daughter. Or a brother for a sister. Anything to tear Adam Chandler apart. Trips to the future? That's ridiculous. They were very real. Lee Hawkins isn't about to kill anybody because Mateo has coma-induced hallucinations. Listen, Jillian and I have been through this every step of the way with Haley and Mateo. If he says he saw something, believe me, he saw it and it's gonna happen. Adam, the only thing Mateo didn't foresee is that Lee Hawkins was working here on the inside as John Lee. John? You're talking about the man who was dating Marion? This is Marion's purse. Oh. Look, here's the driver's license. Mary, 
Megan's all right. She's been missing for days. Maybe we shouldn't be putting her fingerprints all over it. How to get in here? I shudder to think. Well, look, the obvious conclusion. He kept her here for a while. Oh, my God. Darling, I'm sure he's got Julia and Marion hidden away somewhere, but he's not gonna, he's not gonna, they're gonna be all right. I'm sure they're gonna be all right. I'm calling the cops. No, that's the worst thing we can do. What are you saying? We have to bring the cops in on this? I have the best investigators in the country out there. My son is in the hands of a maniac, all right? We have to get everyone we can in on this. My Valley police couldn't find an egg under a hen. Oh, didn't we realize that when Camille terrorized the whole bloody town? Camille died trying to save your life. And her deranged father has my son. Our son, all right? I have him. I'm, I'm as much a part of this as you are. You're the one that lost it. All right, enough. This is not helping Marion or Junior. Adam, you do what you want. I'm calling Derek Fry. Thank you. Camille deserved better than this. Finally rid of Marion, that's what you wanted all along, isn't it? I'll find her, son. I know I'll find him. I just don't know if he'll be alive. Hey, what do you say? We tune in some news. Maybe there's a Chandler kidnapping in the headlines. <laughs> hey, will you pipe down over there? Oh, oh. I said shut up. Ew. Hey, don't make me come over there for you or you're gonna be sorry. I'm hot. Burning up. Something's the matter. You're damn right something's the matter, Junior. You're locked in a cage. Can't get up. All right, all right. Shut, shut your yap. I can't listen to all this whining. It's embarrassing. Well, you're just a little sissy, aren't you? Ah! 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 Gee! Ah! I can't. Never, I never should have let Adam drag us back You're here. You're gonna drive yourself crazy. That doesn't matter. What does is this boy was born with your gumption, and that means he's gonna be okay. I have never been in a situation like he is now. <laughs> you remember the name Billy Clyde Tuggle? You kept him off balance for four days. It's different. Junior's a child. Not just any child. He's your child. That means he's gonna make it just like you did. But he's alone. And he's so, so small and he's scared. Scared to death. Just like you were. And you survived. Now look at you, hmm? You're not about to let Adam or me or anybody else get the best of you. No matter how bad it gets, no matter how dark it gets, you hang on to that. It'll see you through this thing. Well, when I look at this picture, I see this boy that I love so much. This child that I, I gave birth to. So, if, if that love has the power to save, then he's just to be okay. Oh, not so fast, kid. Back up. I said back up, you little coward. Oh, 
you forgot to say, Mother, may I? Oh, no, 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 it's Daddy, may I? Big Daddy Chandler, huh? Well, we're gonna get even with him. We're gonna cut him right down to size, and guess what? You're gonna help me, Junior. Cut it out! Oh, you Chandlers, you're all a bunch of chickens and makes oh, me sick. Oh. Ow! Let go of me! Oh. Yeah. If you're gonna kill me, then just go ahead and do it! Oh, well, that, that'll happen in good time, and that'll give us something both of us can look forward to, won't it? Ow! Ow! Get in there! You little brat. You ever do that to me again, you're gonna wish I killed you! Leave me alone! Shut up! I... You know what else I see? What? Something behind him. Where? Right there, see? No. No, I don't... We need a magnifying glass. Might just take us right to him. Come on. Last time anybody saw Junior? This afternoon. He was playing with Amanda Dillon and Jamie Martin. All right, I'll talk to them. Derek, they're just kids. They're not going to know anything. Look, Healy, you'd be surprised how observant kids are. You don't understand this. Hawkins is a killer and a maniac, and he could be anywhere She's by right. Now. You got to jump on this, Derek. Please, please find my baby brother. OK. For the first time, you guys gave me a call before you took things into your own hands. I'll let it give us a good start. Will you please hurry? All right, fine. Edmund, can you walk me out? I still have some questions I need to ask. Hey, you guys, do you have a magnifying glass? Yeah, it's in the desk drawer. Can I have it? I think I got a lead. Maybe, we can't be sure. Ooh, is it the photograph? Yeah. Yeah, Ted thinks he sees something. What is it? What'd you, what'd you find? I don't know yet, but it might lead us to Junior. Do you see anything? Oh, just a sec. Thanks. It's hard to read. Let me take a look. Yeah. See that over his shoulder? Yeah, it's uh, just barely, though. What the hell is it? I don't know. Listen, Myrtle, you, you gotta help us out of here, okay? Just try to think of anything you can remember about this guy, any quirks, any habits. Oh, yeah. Honey, I, I told you so many things, you and Illy, but let me see if I can think of something else. Myrtle, um, think harder, please. We're uh, counting on you, Myrtle. Uh, anything about his friends, his enemies. Well, friends, no. He had no friends. H enemies, I just don't know. He, he was a very solitary man, a heavy drinker, and... Uh, yeah, he smoked, and he loved playing cards. I remember he used to play solitaire in, in the tattoo parlor what, when it was empty. Ta ta tattoo parlor? Yeah, I remember. He was, the, he was the tattoo artist in the carnival, remember? Yeah, you told us that. Well, when the old tattoo artist left, Lee took over. And I believe he took over because he loves giving pain. He sure was not an artist. He kept very much to himself. Never talked about anything important and he, he always he, he was like some someone who had a I don't know like a, a, a deep dark secret of some kind we gotta find them before it's too late there's only one place to look